It's a great lesson that just when you think you've got it all figured out, you need to uh, check your assumptions. You know, we're used to seeing big, big tech companies just turning into big stale companies. And every once in a while, a company surprises you and makes you uh, rethink things. This is a growth story, and who knew? Scott, what's your take on, on these numbers? Uh, why do you think the initial reaction was down and now the stock's up? Well, thanks a lot, Wilfred. I think a lot of people are probably trying to figure out if, in fact, this is going to be the peak in terms of uh, Microsoft's operating and financial performance um, over the near to intermediate to even long term. Um, as Kevin alluded to, the results were um, better than I think most people expected, but I highly doubt that people should uh, be thinking that 17% revenue growth on a largely organic basis uh, is sustainable. Is it, I guess that's the question, Mike. When you talk about such an amazing stock yeah. performance with it, with it now trading at a record high, it's priced like a growth stock, as you say. So the right. question is, The question is, an $800 like billion dollar market cap company, what does that imply about their ability to continue to grow at these very fast rates? Now, they've obviously accessed totally different markets, right? So it's not unthinkable that they can continue to grow well above what the industry is doing. Uh, but, I, you know, I think that's a larger question for They've kind of gotten lumped into the fang. You know, we're going to give them all the credit for lots of years of, of growth at these rates. And I, I think that's what's going to have to be sorted out over the next couple of years if they can deliver that. Kevin, what's your view on the GitHub acquisition? You know, I, I, in, in one sense, if you're just looking at next quarter's earnings and next quarter's earnings, it's largely cosmetic. Um, but the, the core to the success of a lot of these companies is will independent software developers work with them? Or do they have to do everything on a sort of a go it alone basis? That ends up being really, really important. So uh, pay attention to the activity on GitHub and see how uh, see how healthy that platform remains. If it does, that's really going to actually show up in all the other numbers over at Microsoft. So I, I think it was a good move, and let's hope they're able to keep it thriving. And, and Scott, where do you come in on this question of uh, whether Microsoft can continue you know, to grow at these rates that really its valuation is in a league with some of the other you know, more mature FANG type stocks and uh, can, can the, uh, the results actually justify that for a while? Yeah, so Michael, I completely agree with that supposition. Um, we frankly think Microsoft is fully valued right here because it essentially, even though it's seen accelerating revenue growth over the last couple of quarters and 17% is very strong, but I really think that's largely going to be a peak. Um, it's trading comparably on a PE basis to Facebook or Alphabet from a PE perspective, but the growth rate, if you look at just revenue, it's roughly, let's say, um, significantly below what we see from those companies. So my sense is that this is a company that's been executing well, they've transformed the company, but they still have some issues to address with exposure to the PC. You guys were talking about gaming, for example, earlier. I mean, that's like 7% of revenues. That's not going to drive this stock higher. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.